Lesson 18, Collisions. The class programs their sprites to interact in new ways. After a brief review of how they use the is touching block, the class brainstorms other ways that two sprites could interact. They then use is touching to make one sprite push another across the screen before practicing with the four collision blocks, collide, displace, bounce, and bounce off. Vocabulary abstraction, a simplified representation of something more complex. Okay. Let's take a dive in. Sprite interactions. So far, you've been able to create simple sprite interactions by using the sprite is touching block. Okay, so the giraffe pushed the monkey. For example, you've reset a coin to a different location on the screen when a character touches it. Now it's time to start making sprites have more complex interactions. Do this. Run the program and, uh, ah, run a, the program and observe the interaction between the two sprites. So the giraffe pushed the monkey off the screen. Using only the commands you already know, how could you create this kind of interaction? Okay, yeah, these. So we would change the X position or the Y position or the velocity when the sprite is touching. Program a sprite interaction. You should have discussed with your classmates how you could create the sprite interaction you saw in the last level. Now it's time. Now it's your turn to program it yourself. How can you make the giraffe move the monkey off the screen? So here we see the giraffe just went right through. The giraffe is already moving across the screen toward the monkey, but the sprite interaction itself hasn't been programmed. Use the plan you developed with your classmates on the last level to program the sprite interaction yourself. Okay, let's see. Well, obviously we want sprite is touching. Well, we want an if statement. So if, I'm going to put it under update sprites. If giraffe is touching monkey, is touching monkey. And let's make sure that that's what the variables are called. Yep, giraffe and monkey. Then what do we want to happen? Well, we want, hmm, let's see what the giraffe's velocity is. Okay, so the giraffe's velocity is 1. So why don't we make the monkey's velocity 1? Because the monkey doesn't have a set velocity. Let's make the monkey's velocity also 1. Monkey velocity 1. And I think this should work. Yep, it worked. Excellent. <laughs> Write your own sprite interaction. In the last level, you should have written code for a sprite interaction that you developed with your classmates. This time, try to write the program on your own, but you can use patterns you saw in the last level. So basically, we're doing the same thing here, but since it's going up instead of left to right, it's going down to up, we're going to use velocity.y. So the elephant has a starting velocity of between negative 1 and negative 3. And the hippo doesn't have a starting velocity. So we're doing the same thing. Going to make an if statement. If, oh, does it elephant and hippo? Elephant is touching hippo. Then we'll make a velocity y. We got to make it negative. Hippo dot velocity y. Uh, let's just say negative three, and this should work. This time the elephant's going very slow. Yep, it worked. Well done. Displace. The interaction you've been programming is so common that there's a block design to do the interaction for you. Sprite.displace. That block will make one sprite push the other when they touch. The code underlying this block might look a lot like what you just wrote, but now you no longer need to worry about writing those details yourself. Do this. Someone tried to use the Sprite.displace block to make the elephant push the hippo, but there is a bug. 
Okay, the elephant pushed the hippo. Okay, so the hippo is pushing the elephant. Can you change the code so that the elephant pushes the hippo off the screen? All right, let's look. Uh, hippo displace elephant. I'm going to pause the video because I don't know what the problem is yet. So I'm thinking the problem is just switching these two. So have elephant displace hippo. That's what I'm thinking is going to be. Yeah, okay, cool. That's all we had to do is switch it. That was the bug. Interesting. So let's try and think about that real quick. It's displace. So elephant displace hippo. Okay, I guess that makes sense if you think about it. The elephant is the one doing the pushing, so that's displacing the hippo. Okay. More collision blocks. Three new types of sprite interactions have been added to the toolbox. Sprite collide, sprite bounce, and sprite bounce off. How do you think they'll affect the sprites? Switch out the displace block for sprite collide, bounce, and bounce off blocks. Show me where. Uh, okay, here. So we have the parrot displaced penguin. So here's the parrot, and that means it's going to push the penguin. Yes, it does. Okay, so now they want us to change this to the other blocks. Uh, bounce, bounce off, and collide. Okay, so I'm just going to do show text because I don't want to change parrot and penguin each time. And I'm going to change the word displace with collide. And now let's see what that does. Okay, collide. Um, I'm not sure why the penguin overpowered the parrot. Uh, hmm. Collide. Let's run it again. Yeah, I, d I don't know why why that has to because the velocity is just as strong as the other one parrot has positive two penguin has negative two so i'm not sure why what determines who will get pushed off let's go ahead and look at uh bounce and i would imagine that with bounce they both bounce the opposite way so parrot's going to go that way penguin yep exactly okay then i wonder what bounce off does and notice the capital O, okay? Hmm, okay, so parrot bounce off penguin. Okay, so that's why when the, they touched, the parrot bounced off the penguin with more velocity. The penguin kept going that way. Cool. Collision types. There are four types of collisions that we use in Game Lab. These blocks will cause a certain type of interaction between the sprite and its target. Displace. Okay, so we're going to look at all four. Displace. The displace block causes the sprite to push the target as long as they are touching each other. The sprite keeps moving normally. Okay. Collide. The collide block makes the sprite stop when it runs into the target. If the target is moving, it will push the sprite with it. The target keeps moving normally. Bounce. The bounce block makes the sprite and the target bounce when they touch each other. Both the sprite and the target change how they are moving. Bounce off. The bounce off block makes the sprite bounce off the target. The target keeps moving normally. Do this. Choose the best block to model the basketball bouncing off the floor. Okay. Uh... Did I already do this? Is that why it just showed me? Let's see. Well, okay, yeah, all right. So I must have already done it. Okay, so what is the best one? Probably bounce makes the sprite and the target bounce. No, we don't want that. Bounce off. Yeah, okay, we want bounce off. Because the... We want the uh, ball to bounce off the wood. Basketball, bounce off the wood. So let's find bounce off right there. Uh, 
Okay, cool. <coughs> All right, let me reset this. Oh, no, it doesn't look like I did it. Okay, debugging sprite interactions. Sprite interactions just run some code when they are called. The interactions are not remembered by the game. If you want one sprite to bounce or collide with another, then it needs to be a part of the draw loop. If you forget, then this can lead to unexpected behavior. Do this. The turtle can be moved with the arrow keys. It's not supposed to be able to walk through the tree, but something is wrong in the code. Can you find, the, find and correct the bug in the code? Okay, so they probably want us to use one of the four uh, bounce, bounce off, collide, one of those. Okay, so maybe the bug is this. This looks like it's kind of floating. And collide. Uh, let's, let's just try and put that in here. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, cool. Yep. Run the code and try to make the turtle collide with the tree. Look through the code and discuss with your partner what the problem is. Correct the code. So we basically needed this block that was out here inside the draw loop. So they actually made it kind of easy for us. Okay, so that's what Collide does. It keeps keeps your sprites from, from going through one another. Debug. Sometimes sprites will behave in ways that are unexpected. There is a special sprite.debug property you can use to better understand why the sprites interact the way that they do. Do this. These two coins are round, so you would expect them to bounce in a certain way. Something weird is happening, though. Run the code and watch the way that the coins interact. So they bounced off each other at a weird angle. Use the sprite.debug block to make the debug true for both the sprites and run the code again. Okay, sprite debug. Oh, it's already in there. So make it true. Make this true. And now let's look. Yeah, so they have a square block around them. Change the gold coins starting X position to 51 and run the code again. All right, so they're going to want us to notice how they bounce. Okay, so silver bounces up and to the right, gold down to the left. Now let's change the gold coins X position to 51. And now we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, so now this time silver bounced down to the left, gold up to the right. So they're bouncing strangely because of the boxes and the angles at which the boxes hit. If you look very closely, the bottom right corner of the, of the uh, gold hit the top right corner of the, of the silver coin, and they were, this one was on top of the silver coin. Set Collider. This is actually a block we just learned uh, last lesson. Sprites interact based on the size and shape of their collider, not the images that are assigned to them. You can only see the collider when debug mode is turned on. You can change the shape of the collider using the Sprite Set Collider block, which lets you pick between a rectangle or a circle. By default, all colliders are rectangle. Do this. Find the sprite set collider block for the gold coin and change it from rectangle to circle. Okay, so it's right here. They want us to change it to a circle. Add a new sprite set collider block for the silver coin and choose circle and then run the code again. Okay, great. All right, let's see how this works. How does the bounce work? Cool. Very cool. They bounced off each other. Okay. I'm going to pause the video here, move on to the next part.